Section 18 of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. The Missionary by Charlotte Bronte. Plough, vessel, plough the British main, seek the free ocean's wider plain, leave English scenes and English skies, unbind, dissever English ties. Bear me to climes remote and strange, Where altered life, fast-flowing change, Hot action, never-ceasing toil, Shall stir, turn, dig the spirit's soil. Fresh roots shall plant, fresh seed shall sow, Till a new garden there shall grow, Cleared of the weeds that fill it now, Mere human love, mere selfish yearning, Which cherished would arrest me yet. I grasped the plough, there's no returning. Let me, then, struggle to forget. But England's shores are yet in view, And England's skies of tender blue Are arched above her guardian sea. I cannot yet remembrance flee. I must again, then, firmly face That task of anguish to retrace. Wedded to home, I home forsake. Fearful of change, I changes make. Too fond of ease, I plunge in toil, Lover of calm, I seek turmoil. Nature and hostile destiny stir in my heart a conflict wild, and long and fierce the war will be ere duty both has reconciled. What other tie holds me fast to the divorced, abandoned past? Smouldering on my heart's altar lies the fire of some great sacrifice not yet half quenched, the sacred steel but lately struck my carnal will, my lifelong hope, first joy and last, what I loved well and clung to fast, what I wished wildly to retain, what I renounced with soul-felt pain, what, when I saw it, axe-struck, perish, left me no joy on earth to cherish. A man bereft, yet sternly now I do confirm that Jephtha vow, Shall I retract, or fear, or flee? Did Christ, when rose the fatal tree before him on Mount Calvary? T'was a long fight, hard fought, but won, and what I did was justly done. Yet, Helen, from thy love I turned, when my heart most for thy heart burned. I dared thy tears, I dared thy scorn, easier the death-pang had been born. Helen, Thou mightst not go with me, I could not, dared not stay for thee. I heard afar in bonds complain the savage from beyond the main, and that wild sound rose o'er the cry wrung out by passion's agony. And even when with the bitterest tear I ever shed mine eyes were dim, still with the spirit's vision clear I saw hell's empire, vast and grim, spread on each Indian river's shore, each realm of Asia covering o'er, there the weak, trampled by the strong, live but to suffer and hopeless die, there pagan priests whose creed is wrong, extortion, lust, and cruelty, crush our lost race, and brimming fill the bitter cup of human ill. And I, who have the healing creed, the faith benign of Mary's son, shall I behold my brother's need, and selfishly to aid him shun i who upon my mother's knees in childhood read christ's written word received his legacy of peace his holy rule of action heard i in whose heart the sacred sense of jesus love was early felt of his pure full benevolence his pitying tenderness for guilt his shepherd care for wandering sheep for all the weak sorrowing trembling things his mercy vast, his passion deep of anguish for man's sufferings. I, schooled from childhood in such lore, dared I draw back or hesitate when called to heal the sickness sore of those far off and desolate. Dark in the realm and shades of death, nations and tribes and empires lie, but even to them the light of faith is breaking on their sombre sky. And be it mine to bid them raise their drooped heads to the kindling scene, 
and know and hail the sunrise blaze which heralds christ the nazarene i know how hell will veil the will spread over their brows and filmy eyes and earthward crush the lifted head that would look up and see the skies i know what war the fiend will wage against that soldier of the cross who comes to dare his demon rage and work his kingdom shame and loss yes hard and terrible the toil of him who steps on foreign soil resolved to plant the gospel vine where tyrants rule and slaves repine eager to lift religion's light where thickest shades of mental night screen the false god and fiendish rite reckless that missionary blood shed in wild wilderness and wood has left upon the unblessed air the man's deep moan the martyr's prayer i know my lot i only ask power to fulfil the glorious task willing the spirit may the flesh strength for the day receive afresh may burning sun or deadly wind prevail not o'er an earnest mind may torment strange or direst death nor trample truth nor baffle faith though such blood drop should fall from me as fell in old gethsemane welcome the anguish so it gave more strength to work more skill to save and oh if brief must be my time if hostile hand or fatal climb cut short my course still o'er my grave lord may thy harvest whitening wave so i the culture may begin let others thrust the sickle in if but the seed will faster grow may my blood water what i sow what have i ever trembling stood and feared to give to god that blood what has the coward love of life made me shrink from the righteous strife have human passions human fears severed me from those pioneers whose task it is to march first and trace paths for the progress of our race it had been so but grant me lord now to stand steadfast by thy word protected by salvation's helm shielded by faith with truth begirt to smile when trials seek to whelm and stand mid testing fires unhurt hurling hell's strongest bulwarks down even when the last pang thrills my breast when death bestows the martyr's crown and calls me unto jesus rest then for my ultimate reward then for the world rejoicing word the voice from the father spirit son servant of god well hast thou done end of section eighteen